Welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I'm a long-time fan with informed and knowledge opinion. If you enjoy my Sports Talk with Troy videos, please subscribe to the Sports Talk with Troy YouTube channel. Please check out my Instagram. Please check out my TikTok. And please check out any links in the awesome description of this video. Anyways, while we're here, Joe Smith Jr., who's been one of the better, if not maybe the third best light heavyweight behind, in my opinion, Arthur Bidabiev and Dimitri Bivol, who's been around for a while since he upset Anderson Farah, and notably he also entered the career of Bernard Hopkins, has finally won a world championship by winning a very hard-fought decision over Maxim Valsov. I'm not saying his name right. Anyways, it's a very entertaining, very competitive matchup. Both guys had their moments. Both guys had points they looked at hurt the other guy enough to maybe begin even a stoppage. My impression overall during the matchup was that overall Velsov could be the better boxer, but more of the big moments were had by, by Joe Smith Jr. And one of the I guess majority decision victory for Smith Jr., which was a fair scorecard, I believe. I thought it was very close. So it was going to be like a 115-113 kind of fight. Could have gone either way. Like I said, Velsov had more of the more was more of the better overall boxer, but Smith Jr. had more of the bigger moments. He had harder punchers, had more opportunities to stop Velsov than Velsov had to stop him. I think Velsov only had one, and I think he had three stop times for for Smith where he looked like he was on the verge of of stopping. There's at least two. I'm trying to go back my my memory from last night. There's at least two times where Smith had had Velsov hurt enough where it looked like he was going to stop him. Velsov is very tough. He has like almost 50 fights, and although he's been beaten four times now, not 49 fights, he's been stopped four times. There's excuse me, he's lost four times. He's never been stopped in those four fights. He's lost to very good fighters in his, his career. Smith also didn't stop him. This fight was supposed to happen back in February, if I remember correctly. The fight happened last night. I feel it was worth the wait. It was a very good, very competitive. I'm gonna sit here. It's a five-year contender. When the bell did, either guy could have legitimately been given the victory. Is given to Smith Jr. Of course, he's from New Jersey, fights in Connecticut. Smith, of course, is an interesting story of a guy who's never quit his regular day job and everything, which I think is totally admirable. I do wonder sometimes whether or not it'd be better for his career if he didn't do that, but that's neither here nor there. Joe Smith Jr. is the WBO light heavyweight champion of the world. He won a majority decision over Maxime Velsov, a very good boxer himself to do so. Excellent fight. Anyways, let me know what you think of the fight, who you think should have won the fight, and so forth in the comments of this video. Again, please subscribe, please follow, please like. I thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon.